The police, alongside the Directorate of Public Prosecution, DPP, have been investigating the Karamoja Iron Sheet scandal. Police spokesperson Fred Nanga says the investigations are nearly complete and the report will be ready by the end of this week. So we expect that uh, uh, this process of the investigation of interview and, uh, and gathering evidence from the field will be concluded this week. Then the other technical part of uh, uh, compiling the case file for the legal opinion of the DPP will be concluded the other week. Then we shall wait for the opinion of the DPP uh, to guide us on which persons are culpable and those who are not culpable. According to the police, several ministers and members of parliament are among the people who have been interrogated. Last week, the government chief whip Dennis Hampson Obua said that the beneficiaries had no case to answer since they just received the iron sheets. But you are told that you have some donation here and there is a need in your constituency and you pick these properties clearly marked and labeled office of the prime minister and I deliver them to six government schools in a jury county. What is my offense under the laws of Uganda? Because an offense must be hankered on the law. And each and every offense has what they call ingredients. The now controversial iron sheets were meant to be given to Karamoja youth who had handed in their guns under the disarmament program. The youth were to build houses to resettle, get goats for rearing, and abandon cattle rustling. It was a program under the office of the Prime Minister. However, some officials reportedly shared the spoils, diverting the iron sheets for personal use. However, the Otuke County legislator Paul Omara has denied reports that he is among those who irregularly received the iron sheets. Omara told a media briefing that he received iron sheets from the Prime Minister's office long before the scandal was reported in media and that he gave the iron sheets to the schools and churches in his constituents. They are looking at how to explain the 25,000 iron sheets which either they took or they misappropriated. And so they are looking at some of us who got iron sheets from our own uh, regional ministry for Northern Uganda to make it as part of the Karamoja iron sheets. I think this is unprecedented. And indeed, the minister for Northern Uganda gave the people of Otuke County 40, 400 iron sheets, rather, 400 iron sheets. And those 400 iron sheets have been distributed to churches, which we have the list, and to primary schools. Omara asked the government to expeditiously investigate the matter and bring the culprits to book so that innocent people are exonerated. Those who were who misappropriated the iron sheets for Karamoja must take full accountability for their actions. They should not spread their iniquities uh, to some of us who have never had an iota of idea of taking away from the public fund. According to Mara, such allegations which he said are baseless are meant to delegate slaters from lobbying for their constituents.